Hi, it's Ray from uh, Love You RV again, and uh, today I'm going to change out the locks on my storage bay. One thing I didn't realize, and many new RV owners don't realize, is many of the storage compartment locks use this key. If your key says CH751, then uh, they're all the same key. So that means, you know, anybody in the RV park that has this key can come along and open your lock. Kind of a strange thing, most people wouldn't think. So, there is a, a company online that sells replacement locks. And uh, I'm going to change out my storage bay locks with uh, some uh, ones that have a, a key that only I have. So it won't make uh, them super secure because you know anybody with a crowbar could probably pop one of these open but uh, it'll keep the honest people honest anyway so that they just can't open your your locks with their keys. Another reason I wanted to change out these keys is the, the locks are super cheap and uh, half the time I'm wiggling and wiggling the thing to get it to turn like right now it won't turn I just got to find exactly the right spot before the stupid thing will turn and pretty well all three of them are like that now you just have to have the right spot so it'd be nice to get a, a higher quality uh, lock in there than these cheesy things so here's the box that arrived in the mail today and contains all the pieces I need to replace my locks. Okay, there's the three new cylinders, keys. I also got some uh, thumb openers and some covers for them to keep the rain out and some new uh, vinyl inserts. And that came from Industrial Lock and Hardware. It was pretty easy to uh, order them up. On their website they had all the measurements to take. You just take out your old cylinder and uh, make the measurements and then fill them in online and they send out the right locks to you. Okay, I got it all unpacked here and I'll just give you a, a brief description of what we got. Um, I decided to go with all the same keys. You can get individual keys for each lock, but I got three locks for three storage bays, so I get three keys. They're all the same key, and then they give you a spare key, and then this red one's what they call a service key. So if uh, the lock gets out of sync or the, the tumblers skip, you can always uh, reset the lock with that. Then you get your uh, mine needed a 7 8 nut, a little, uh, rubber washer. Um, these go on the end of the the cylinder, part of the cam lock. I got my covers, my thumb openers, and backing plate. Then you get a nice set of instructions. The only tools I'm going to need are I need a screwdriver to help me get the old lock off, uh, crescent wrench, and this is uh, a 7 8 socket for the big nut there. So I'll get to work taking the old locks off. At first I didn't really understand what these little square uh, washer type things were, but they are so you can reuse your cam. That's what these are. They're called your cam. And you can see mine has a little dimple on it like that. So to reuse it, I just have to put the square into there so it modifies it so it can work with the new new lock cylinder. Because the old one used a little screw on the back here. And the new one uses a bolt. So that's just a little adapter. So instead of using the cam that came with it, I can use the original cam get a, a better fit in there. So that's a pretty smart idea of them to include that. 
Well, there we go, all installed in the storage bay. A really quick and simple mod, and that will increase the security. See, I like the little uh, weather cover in there, and you got the round key that no one else has. So that makes it uh, nice. And I also put the thumb grip on this side. Make it easy when you're opening it. Give you something to grab onto. And reuse the, the cam lock from the old one. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So if you're looking to get yourself some replacement locks, uh, the place I ordered mine from are called ch751.com, which is the same number as the key, ch751.com, and you can order the parts right online, or you can actually uh, give them a call and an actual human will answer, which is uh, a rarity nowadays. So. I highly recommend them. They were a, a decent price, came really quick, and really easy to install. Great people to deal with. So there's another uh, neat little mod for you from loveyourrv.com. Cheers!